has a similar feeling. The mic is there now. Prosecute. Honorable Chair, I request for two minutes to settle. Just two minutes. Honorable Amoshomba, we had called you earlier. You are missing. I will drop this amendment. Honorable Milio Diambo, Otiende Amolos, not in the House. I will drop the amendment. Proposed amendment by the chairpersons. Honorable Chair, I beg to move that uh, Clause 5 of the bill be amended uh, as proposed in the order paper, A, by numbering the existing provisions as one, and B, by inserting the following new subclause immediately after the, the numbered subclause one, that without prejudice to the generality of Section 6, any business or company which complies with the provisions of Section 5 shall not be liable to pay the levy under Section 4.2b. Honorable Chair, the, 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 the import of this is to avoid double taxation for persons who are already paying housing, uh, the affordable housing uh, uh, levy through the 1.5% employer uh, contribution. Because without now making this clarification, it would mean that uh, the, th those uh, businesses and corporations that are already paying 1.5% will now have to again pay 1.5% of their gross income to the affordable housing, uh, 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 as the affordable housing levy. With that, I beg to move on, Abu Chair. Thank you. We will, I will now propose the question that Clause 5 be amended as proposed by the chairs. I put the question that Clause 5 be amended as proposed by the chairs. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? Yeah. The ayes have it. We, will, we have further proposed amendments by member for SEME. If not in the House, it is dropped. Honorable member for Kitutu Masaba, Honorable Gisairo. He's in the house. Give him the mic. Uh, you have no right to tell me dropped and I'm here. Uh, Chair, uh, I'm seeking an amendment to clause 7 of the bill. We are on clause 5, Honorable Five. Clive. I, I think uh, clause five is what we've already passed on the gross. All right, then and, uh, I drop basic, this right. proposed amendment here. Member for Turkana South, Honorable Ariko. He's in the house. Uh, Madam Chair, I think uh, my amendments under clause four is the same as amendment clause five. And if Prosecute clause five. Uh, I'm not ready to prosecute. Let me if you're not ready, minute. I will drop it. Yes. And um, with that, honorable members will conclude clause five. So I'll put the global question that clause five be amended, as amended, be part of the bill. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause six. I propose the question that clause six be part of the bill. Member for Gedongori. There is no amendment on the other paper. Honorable Milio Diambo, absent uh, amendment dropped. Member for Seme, amendment dropped. Member for Madare. Uh, thank you, Chair. I move uh, as per uh, the amendment of the other paper. And the reason for that, uh, Honorable Chair, is that um, the proposed amend, I mean, the, the clause as it is on the order paper is discriminatory to the effect that it seeks to exclude cabinet secretaries and creates a notion that the uh, uh, levy itself is uh, a levy that is to be paid by a certain category of Kenyans and that there are certain other categories of Kenyans that are protected. And therefore, I seek to uh, delete that provision as in the uh, bill. I move. I so move. Thank you. Honorable Luoche's amendment is a deletion, so I will propose the question that clause 6 be deleted as proposed by Honorable Anthony Oluoch. I will put the question that clause 6 be deleted as proposed by Honorable Anthony Oluoch. 
Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? Yeah. The nays have it. I will allow member for Mbakasi, Honorable Mark Mwenje. If not in the house, I will drop it. Honorable Ojiambo, member for Funula, was the same as Honorable Oluoch, so it is also dropped. So I will now propose that clause six. I will put the question that clause six be part of the bill. I put the question that clause six be part of the bill. Will as many as have that opinion say aye? aye. Will as many as have a counter opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause seven. I propose the question that clause seven be part of the bill. Amendment by Honor Bogadonu Amushomba. Madam Chair, you'll forgive me, I don't have my card for now. That is why I'm not able to access the microphone. I have already given you the microphone. Thank you. Prosecute the amendment. Allow me to drop the amendment for now. Thank you. That is dropped. Uh, the amendment by member for Turkana South, Honorable Ariko. You have dropped? Honorable member for Suba North, absent. It is dropped. Member for Funula. Chair, in view of other droppings, as they call them, whatever that means, eh? <laughs> droppings, as they call them, you know, I stand, I, I drop the, the proposed amendment. <laughs> other droppings. We have. <laughs> Yeah. We have proposed amendments by the chairpersons. Move the amendments, Honorable Kemani. Honorable Chair, I beg to move that clause 7 be amended as per the order paper. And, uh, and this is deleting and substituting there for the following new clause that the levy shall be a debt due to the government and shall be recoverable in accordance with the Tax Procedures Act of 2015. This, Honorable uh, Chair, is to make all fines and penalties for, like, for payee and for the other statute of deductions to be the same as that of this uh, housing levy. Honorable Chair, I beg to move. I therefore propose the question that clause 7 be amended as proposed by the chairs. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. The implication of that is that uh, the proposed amendment by Honorable Luoch and Clive Ombane falls. So I will put a global question that clause 7 be, as amended be part of the bill. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause 8. This has no amendment. I propose the question that clause 8 be part of the bill. I now put the question that clause 8 be part of the bill. Will as many as are of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many as are of a contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. Clause 9. I propose the question that clause 9 be part of the bill. Honorable Amushomba, do you take the same route? Chair, Madam Chair, I'm, this, time I'm not, uh, this time I'm not ready to drop. Um, I want to move that uh, we amend Clause 9. Justification is that the affordable housing levy are punitive to Kenyans who are faced with the high cost of living and their lives are difficult. Also, the levy increases the cost of doing business in Kenya and may lead to most businesses closing down. Madam Chair, further, there, there is, is no point of order. correlation between order members. Order members. There is no order direct Bamu correlation Shomba. between paying order. the levy order and owning a house. Order, Honorable Amushomba. There is a point of order from the chair. We'll hear it. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, and I want to give Honorable Amushomba benefit of doubt because she has just joined us now. But the, the, the moving she's making has nothing to do with clause 9 of the bill. It has completely nothing to do with clause 9. And I think you should rule her completely out of order.
Honorable wa Mushomba, Honorable wa Mushomba, your amendment in clause 9, as per the records, is a deletion. Paragraph A, the entire paragraph A. So kindly move the right amendment as filed by the speaker. Madam Speaker, I move that clause 9 of the bill be amended by deleting paragraph A. Now you can go on. With the justification, Madam Speaker, that the affordable housing levy are punitive to Kenyans who are faced with high cost of living and their lives are difficult as we speak. Also, the levy increases the cost of doing business in Kenya and may lead to most businesses closing down or retrenching employees. Further, there is no direct correlation between paying the levy and owning a house. Therefore, it is proposed that this clause be deleted completely, Madam Speaker. Wait, Honorable Chair. No, order members. Order members. I have the bill here. Honorable Amoshomba's filed amendment is nine to delete 9A, that all monies deducted or payable as a levy under this act, be, that whole A to be deleted. So she is perfectly in order. So we'll allow her to move. And I think you have already moved the amendment. Let me first of all propose the question. That clause 9 be amended as proposed by Gadonu Amoshomba. Now I can hear the majority leader. Chair, you know why we are lost on uh, the member for Gidongori's amendment? Clause 9 is talking about the monies that will be paid into the fund. Clause 4 is the one that spoke about what she's speaking about, the levy. And clause 4 has already passed. Therefore, unless she had deleted clause 4, then what she's saying does not makes absolutely no majority sense. Majority leader, order. Because the fund is already there, Honorable Speaker. Order, majority and leader. I, I, I strongly oppose that particular amendment. These are things we say in funerals and in rallies, not in uh, legislation making. You're totally out of order, Honorable Majority Leader. <laughs> order, members, if you look at the bill, part three, it talks about the fund, but nine is speaking about there shall be paid into the fund. A, money is deducted or payable as the levy under this act. So she's perfectly in order. So let her move. We can have contributions of the same. A few. I put the question. So I will put the question. That clause 9 be amended as proposed by Wamushomba. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Will as many as of a contrary opinion say nay? The nays have it. The import of that is that uh, the amendment by Honorable Milio Diambo falls because it was similar. And then we'll have the chairs prosecute the committee's amendment. Okay. <laughs> 